Hey you, it's me, Curtis P, and it's time for some coffee. Starting off with a very interesting iPhone related story, everyone looks like someone has taken upon themselves to add that headphone jack back into the iPhone 7. You know, just when we all started to get over the fact that the iPhone doesn't have a headphone jack anymore, well, Scott Allen took it upon himself to actually install a headphone jack into the iPhone. Now the project itself took him 17 weeks to complete and thousands of dollars in parts. He also had to design his very own circuit board here, which is very interesting. Basically, he just took the lightning adapter, like the lightning to headphone adapter, stripped it apart and like built that into the iPhone 7. Now, Alan said that he did have to remove some internal parts. So, um, you know, it's not like the iPhone 7 just has a spot for all of these components to fit. He did have to pick a few of them and then kick them out of the casing. But Scotty Allen created this entire video all about it. It's awesome, go and check it out for yourself. Link in the description down below. And he also published the steps publicly on GitHub for all of those interested in trying this out themselves. Overall, a really awesome idea here because everyone's been talking about it. Like, why doesn't the iPhone have a headphone jack? I'm sure they could have fit it in there. Like, why weren't they trying? What about it, Apple? Why no headphones? Well, unlike the rest of us in the world who just like to complain, Scotty took it upon himself and actually put one in the phone. Now, um, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world, but he did it. Jumping into some quick news for the day, everyone, SpaceX successfully launched another rocket yesterday morning, launching the secret X-37B orbital test vehicle into orbit. Now, this is the fifth time that the X-37B has been in space, and the first time that SpaceX was the ones to put it up there. And as per usual, the rocket also successfully landed back on the land. Next, more iPhone 8 related news here, as the Wall Street Journal is reporting that the iPhone 8 will not have a Touch ID sensor. Something we've talked about a lot in the past here was that Apple was unable to actually place the Touch ID sensor under the display like they wanted to. Apple has instead switched to a face scanning technology that will be included in the brand new iPhone 8 or iPhone Pro or iPhone X, whatever they call it. Now beyond that, the other issue Apple is currently having with this phone is the OLED display. They're having a lot of issues with production on it and these production issues could actually push back the launch date. Many rumors pointing to the fact that pre-ordering for this brand new edge to edge phone that'll happen next week, but the phones might not ship to you until October. And that's if you get in right away because there's expected to be a limited amount of these phones. So you could be waiting until 2018 to actually get your next generation iPhone. So if you wanna make sure to get your iPhone 8 as soon as possible, well, you better be ready to be pre-ordering right as the store goes live. That's what I always do. You like camp out at night with your credit card. It's a great time. Talking more about the OLED display inside of the next generation iPhone, it looks like Apple is urgently looking for a brand new supplier for the next OLED display. Currently, Apple uses Samsung as its OLED display manufacturer. It's the only company that they use. And that kind of gives Samsung pretty good leverage over Apple for, you know, their product line and pricing for this brand new phone. Rumors showing that Apple is currently paying around $125 per display to Samsung. Now, the next company that could be taking over here is LG. They have been just recently sort of getting back into the OLED technology. So Apple could be looking at them to provide additional OLED displays in the future, because if there are two companies making OLED displays, hopefully there'll be more competition and thus the price for those displays will come down. Next up, if you're a big fan of artists like Bruno Mars, Ed Sheeran and the Red Hot Chili Peppers, well, great news because Apple just recently signed a major streaming deal with Warner Music Group. That means you'll soon be able to find their music on the iTunes store and Apple Music, which is awesome. Apple is also said to be working on a deal with Sony Entertainment Group to bring a bunch of those artists onto the platform. For. And last up for the quick news here, HomePod has been spotted in the wild. Yes, an Instagram post is showing off the brand new HomePod in someone's kitchen. Now the location data for the photo actually shows it comes from Shanghai, China. Now there's no real information you can pull from these photos here. Overall, all we see is the HomePod and of course it's cable on the table. But hopefully we'll learn more about the HomePod at next week's announcement. And last for this week, looks like the Pebble creator is back at it again with a new Kickstarter campaign. The original creator of the Pebble smartwatch has a brand new project here it's a brand new charging case for your iPhone that can also charge your AirPods. The case itself has a USB-C cable at the bottom, so if you're a big fan of USB-C and you want it on the iPhone, this case can help you out. Now, currently they're looking for a little over 300,000 US dollars in funding, but they've only raised about 13,000. So currently it looks a little rocky as to whether this project will actually make it to funding. In my opinion, the idea of the case is good, but you look at the case itself and 
I think that thing looks so ugly. It looks big and bulky and Personally, as someone who loves AirPods, I've never actually had a problem with the case that they're in. The case is small, it's compact, and it's a great place for your AirPods to live in when you're not actually using them. The idea of adding them to the top of my iPhone just seems really stupid. And also, I feel like they're gonna fall out because if you're using your phone, you're walking around, you're swinging it around, one of those things just goes woo over there, great. Or you could just keep them in the little AirPod case and put that in your pocket. But you know, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think, comment section down below. So with that, if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that like button and of course subscribe to the channel. I'm working on releasing new videos like this throughout the week, so make sure you check those out and of course subscribe. You can also find other videos just like this one on screen right now. And of course, if you wanna find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff, there is a link in the description down below or of course a card on screen right now. So make sure you check that out. Also, side note, I started my own Discord server. It's very quiet right now and kind of slow, but hey, come on over, check it out. Link in the description down below. It's open to everyone, so yeah, it's fun. I'm always hanging out there, so if you want to just come and chat, it's the best way to contact me. So until next week, everybody, I'm Curtis Parody, and have an amazing day.